what's up my name is tony and i'm the co-founder of the hyatt company in today's video i'll be talking about five tips that you could take before adding a new product to your business or to your store so if you're interested in that please stay tuned okay so first of all these tips are in no like specific order it's just tips that you could use before um, adding a new product to your business or to like your online store. So the first tip is to consider items that already go along with your business theme. I feel like that's common sense, but sometimes people will mix it up. So if you sell clothing, I'll say you could go ahead and do like accessories, earrings, or like chains because like it's it completes the outfit. Like you could create a whole outfit using your website. So that goes together. But you won't want to mix toys with clothing clothing <laughs> because that'll kind of throw your customers off so you want to choose something that goes along with your business in my case like i've always said we do soaps and candles along with that we've added a body butter because it's a skincare part to it and it's a scent part to it in the coming i said like month or two i'll be adding more candles hopefully wax melt wax melt and like other products as we go into the fall so that's all kind of products that go together don't forget to follow us on instagram and visit our website at thehyaco.com the second tip i'll say is to make sure the supplies that you will be getting to launch this new product is cost efficient in a way that it goes along with the price range that you already have on your website so for instance say if i wanted to add a new candle size to our website so maybe like a 16 ounce i have the option of either going to a luxury supply website or just a regular supply website if my price range on my website isn't luxury it doesn't make sense to go with a luxury vessel because you don't want to confuse your customers on the price range that you're kind of going with so if you're a luxury candle business or a luxury company go with the luxury and or you could even some people get cheaper items and just sell it for luxury prices so you could do that if you want however just don't add something that will kind of confuse the prices on the only the only way i said this would kind of make sense is if you kind of change the change the name of it and make it into a whole other line so for instance target would have threshold which is regular price stuff and then they'll have threshold signature which is the more expensive stuff so if you kind of play with it like that then you could kind of switch up the prices but if you want to keep everything the same make sure your raw materials that you're supplying is of the same price range so that you could keep that price range going and everything will be cohesive for your customers i feel like that was a lot but the third tip is when adding products or items or whatever, be sure to add stuff that your customers are interested in. So don't add something that they haven't been asking for and totally neglect something that they have been asking for. So for instance, um, some customers don't like burning candles. Like they don't like the fire, they don't like the wicks or anything because either they're traumatized from past like house fires or anything or almost catching the house on fire or they may feel like they're a forgetful person and they don't want to risk burning down the houses. So then you'd be like, the solution to that will be wax melts. So just don't add something that they haven't been asking for and you just add something that you just want to put on there. I mean, obviously sometimes customers don't know they want something until you put it out there, but I would recommend putting up what they ask for first and then adding your own spin to it afterwards. And I said this just so that you supply their immediate needs and then you feed them more and be like, hey, you may also like this, you may also want this, and just to keep it going after that. The fourth tip will be to go with a supplier that you know would be trustworthy, would have the jars or items or clothing pieces in stock just so that you could keep this item on your site. The worst thing for you to do is get a raw material or whatever that is always out of stock because when you sell out to your customers, it's not fun for them to have to wait for something that's out of stock for weeks or months. Then like the suspense kind of dies down, they get irritated, they get mad, they don't even want it anymore when it comes. So I definitely say go with a trustworthy supplier, one that would have the stuff in stock. I mean, some in some cases it's like unpredictable, like last year at the beginning and even throughout the pandemic, a lot of supplies were hard to get. In that case, it's like you couldn't really predict that. 
However, I feel like we're kind of studying out with the suppliers getting familiar with who always has stuff in stock. And so I'll definitely recommend going with one who will be able to supply the needs of you and your customers while before adding this new item or this new product to your website. The fifth and final tip that I would give before launching a new product to your website or to your store is to create a strategy that will build suspense. So you already have your established products, the one that's on the shelf, the ones that your customers can choose from. But now that a new product is coming, you wanna build some suspense. So you wanna create a strategy that will do that for you. So if you're doing skincare products, you could post a picture on your Instagram story and be like, what do y'all think we're launching next? Then have them guess, do the little question thing. You could also um, drop videos of you using your product and then give them a launch date. Keep constantly remind them on your story, on your Instagram post, whatever, however you market your products, constantly remind them that it's coming out. Are y'all excited? Can't wait, blah, blah, blah. You may even drop like a, a launch day discount code just to build suspense and hype your product up just so that when it comes out, they're just as excited as you are. So those are the five tips that I have. Quick tips before adding a new product to your website or to your store. I hope this video helped you in some way, shape, or form. Let me know in the comments down below if it did. And if you have any more tips down below, definitely put them in the comments below to help all of us out, everyone who's watching this video, who's gonna read the comments, and myself as well. Other than that, y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to watch the rest of the videos on our channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.